Hi, I'm Michael Brito, author of Smart Business, Social Business, and I'm here with Becky Carroll, my good friend. And I just want to talk quickly about a chapter in the book called The Rise of Customer Advocacy. And I believe that if you love your customers, they'll love you back and tell others. And when I talk to my teams and my clients about marketing programs and community engagement, that always is at the back of my head because advocates are special. Advocates are talking about your brand, our brand, the brand within their micro communities even when we're not listening. Advocates may not have a high degree of reach, meaning they don't have millions of followers, they don't have thousands of RSS subscribers, but they have, they're trusted. And they have, they're trusted amongst their micro communities, friends, colleagues, and families. Now, I highlight in the book a little dif the difference between an influencer and an advocate. Now, an influencer is someone who has a high degree of reach, somebody who has thousands of Twitter followers, you know, a ton of blog readers and subscriptions, and huge fan followers on Facebook. That relationship between a brand and an influencer is built on incentives, meaning an influencer usually wants some type of monetary exchange. It could be a trip to an event, it could be new products, it could be insight into a roadmap. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. That should be part of the marketing mix. But the difference between them and an advocate is there is no expectation. There is no incentive needed. It could be just a thank you, it could be just a retweet, or it could just be saying, hey, we value your opinion, we want to hear more from you. So that's my chapter and thank you again. Man.